Welcome back to yet another Star Stable video. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it truly does make my day, besties. And today, come to the right place with the arrival of the Equestrian Festival. A lot of you guys are probably wondering what spring tokens are, how do you collect them, and how do you save up? Because there is a lot of things coming to game that you could get and only get through using spring tokens to purchase these items. Now, if you don't know what spring tokens are, I will show you besties what you could purchase with them so far. But this equestrian festival is a four week kind of like period and time. So there are going to be a lot more prizes, prizes in air quotes that you could get upcoming to Star Stable with these spring tokens in the next few weeks. So definitely stay tuned for that and keep that in mind before purchasing something using your spring tokens. And without any further ado, let's get into the ultimate guide on how to collect some spring tokens pretty fast. So basically, you go in game and you can travel to the Moorland kind of festival area for the equestrian festival or the Yorvik Stables one. But at Moorland, there are many horses. Well, so far there's one, but there will be more upcoming soon from the spoilers we saw. But so far there is one horse with a little exchange symbol on its head. Now, if you go here in the shop, there are all of these lovely items that you can purchase only using your spring tokens. Now, that is not all. There is another trade symbol over here and basically you click it and for 70 spring tokens you could buy yourself a lovely black and white pet bunny. So there is definitely a lot of things that you can do with spring tokens and there's actually all the way in the back another set that you could get with spring tokens and this one is the gold baroque set and there is also vet care tokens where if you exchange some tokens for the vet care, then you will basically be getting your horse to be 100% happy and healthy back at the beginning. So that is basically everything in game that you can use spring tokens to purchase so far. But there are definitely a lot more items that are going to be coming soon. As well as we know we will be getting raven pets. We don't know if those will be like you have to pay star coins for them or spring tokens for them. But definitely just be on the lookout for that before you think of spending your spring tokens. But there are many ways to save up with them and get all of the items that you desire using spring tokens from this festival. Keep in mind that these items are limited edition, so if you do not buy them throughout the duration of the equestrian festival, it's not a good time, but you're in luck, bestie, because it's just the first day of the equestrian festival. So here's some things you could do that I found to save up spring tokens fast and easy. So without any further ado, let's get into the video then. Well, we already are. Why did I say that? The, 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 the next part of the video. That's what I meant. gonna bust out my list real quick. All right, so the first thing I found that is, this is the hands down best way to collect spring tokens super fast. Like within the first, I'd say 10 minutes max, if you're speed running the equestrian festival, you will have 56 tokens. This is the best way. Do all of the beginning quests for the equestrian festival. I did them and I literally just got 56 tokens within the first 20 or so minutes of joining the festival. And if you need help on how to complete these quests, you just kind of like talk to Tan at the festival. Once you do that, there will be a bunch of quests open to you. And you just want to go ahead through these quests and kind of familiarize yourself with the equestrian festival. And there's also one where you compete in champs. There's one where you like go around to shops and basically just get all the quests out of the way. This includes the quest part two, which is located at Jorvik Stables or Jarlheim. Now, this part of the equestrian festival is kind of like two places in one, but there are more quests at Jorvik Stables that you can complete if you finish completing all the Moorland quests. So go ahead and make sure that you completed each and every one of the Moorland quests and the Jorvik Stables quests, because by the time you're done with those, you will have a ton, and I mean a ton of spring tokens in your inventory. Oh yeah, also one of the quests is trying the open house race for the first time, so definitely be sure to do that. Even if you have done it in the past, it gives you some spring tokens, which is really, really nice to add to your stash. 
Next, part two of things you could do to earn spring tokens fast in Star Stable is competing in championships. Now, with the Equestrian Festival, there has been a small change and update to the championships. This means that you get 200 Yorvik shillings for participation in a championship and 250 experience for participation in a championship for your horse bestie. So there is some incentive, but now throughout the duration of the Equestrian Festival, all you wanna do is go either to Moreland, teleport to a championship, go to any championship bestie, just anyone work, compete in it, but before you compete in it, go to this little person, this NPC at the side. I'll show a clip of what I mean, but you want to go to her, talk to the NPC there, and she'll give you a quest to compete in the championship that you're waiting at, and after that, you will get a, about one spring token, but again, these tokens do add up in the long run, especially alongside the main quests, so this is just a nice way to get some extra tokens, and there is a lot of championships during one day, so if you're doing a lot of them per day, there is a chance that you will save up very, very fast and very easily for all the spring tokens of your dreams. So that is my tip number two, is participate in as many championships as possible. You know, just like, you don't even need to win, bestie. It's just like, just be there. Be there and participate. The third tip I have for you is to make sure you participate in all of the daily races. Now, of course, not every single daily race on the map because those will not give you spring tokens. By daily races, I mean the limited time equestrian festival daily races. This includes both Eurovic Stables and Moreland again, but there is one race that you will get at Moreland once you talk to Tan. Do that each and every day. It gives you 400 horse experience as well as a couple spring tokens. So that is a great way to both level up your horse and save up with spring tokens to be able to purchase what you want. And do not forget, there is also your Vic Stables and there, there are two races, one show jumping, one cross country. Do those each and every day and you will definitely have a little bit more of spring tokens in your inventory. The next tip is to stay tuned for upcoming events. Now, this both means upcoming prizes, but this also means that Star Stable spoiled the Equestrian Festival, right? And during that, they spoiled what they would be releasing according to the festival with the like upcoming days and stuff like that. And in many of these weeks and weekly updates, Star Stable mentioned they'd be adding a ton of new quests each week in order for you to save up your spring tokens and get what you want. So so that is definitely a tip, just stay tuned for upcoming quests and stay tuned for like upcoming festivities, what Star Stable's doing with the game and releasing things, and there will definitely be more like quests. I say quests like spring token quests in game very soon. So even if you finished all of these current ones, there are more upcoming and those will give a lot of spring tokens as well, so stay tuned for those. And my last tip in this Spring Tokens Star Stable video is to have an idea of what you want to save up for before you go and spend your Spring Tokens. This is because although it can be pretty like easy to save up Spring Tokens, it might take you a while after the main quests and the main quests give you like 56 tokens off the bat. Like I haven't done anything. I just have 56 tokens from doing all the quests and one championship. So definitely have an idea of what you're saving up for? Is it the rabbit pet? Is it the tax set? Just have that in mind and know that um, after the quests, it might get a little bit more difficult, but the quests, there will be more again. So do not worry if you finished all of them and are not feeling inspired to do championship. There will be more opportunities for quests, questing for spring tokens in the future. Bye everyone. That was just a quick video on five easy ways to earn some of these spring tokens. Let me know if you know any other ways to get them down in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have the best day and yeah, stay tuned for more equestrian festival videos in the future. Bye bye!